This mod is some of the most fun I've ever had with this game. In the unforgiving world of Fallout 4, survival mode presents players with a challenge unlike any other. Every bullet counts, every resource matters, and every decision could mean life or death. But what happens when you throw a weapon randomizer into the mix? Well, let's just say things get interesting. I'm playing on survival difficulty, which initially posed as a big challenge in of itself, because this mod spawns in with all the ammo you could ever need for all the weapons, and I had to use some crafty console commands to not have my legs be constantly broken, and my character to not be limping around. After locking in my stats, the game begins like any other, nuclear war breaks out, and you rush for safety to the vault you just signed up for. I was filled with excitement as I ran over to the rad roaches to see the mod in action. Oh, it works! It's beautiful! Oh my god! I quickly made my way over to Concord and decided to help out the Minutemen. There's more of you? Sure, you'll all get some. That's an interesting cover slide. Right in the face! Um, actually, I already grabbed the fusion cover. Ooh, that caught me off guard. <laughs> I forgot about that. I want the stim pack. Deathclaw? Hell yeah! One Molotov for them. Shotgun for me. Ooh, my health! I got a heal! Playing on survival. I keep forgetting. No way I'm dying here. No! I got angled. I can counter strike. Round two, Bloodbugs. One for you. One for you. Oh, don't kill me. Okay, there's a guy around. Oh, there he is. Okay, okay, okay. Rush him, rush him. He has a shotgun! No way! What does Tom Hardy think of my rolling pin? What's that? Fucking rolling pin? What are you gonna do with that? Bake me a cake? Watch me sing a song? I come here for a shootout. A proper shootout with some proper men. Well, it's very effective. Look, my lurk. Burn hell. Four guys versus one MIRV launcher. Happy New Year! There's one alive? Really? Can you die already, please? Do you have ammo? I'm a gnome, and you've been no. Hi there. Yes, you, watching the video. If you like what you're watching, chances are you would want to subscribe to get notified as I push more content. Write a comment about what challenge you want to see me do next. Also, like the video if you liked it. This would all help me out a ton. Thank you so much. Alright, with that out of the way, enjoy the rest of the video. Just die, please, please. Thank you. Oh, that guy has a shotgun. Don't turn around. Whee! Round three, fellers. Or is it round four? I can't even count. It's been so many times. Oh, please. Oh. Brutal. No, don't run away from me again. Oh, I hear him behind me. Finally he's dead. This took me so much time. With the Minutemen held out, it's time to pack up and leave for Diamond City. But first, a quick stop at Drumlin Diner followed by the supermarket. Plus one laser shot. I missed the shot somehow. There we go. Bam. Oh, take that Simon. How do you like that? Oh no, I can't. Holy shit, what a disaster. Why did I pick a fight with this robot? It is so tough for some reason. Oh my health! Run! Oh, I'm not dying here! So after having arrived in Diamond City, I quickly start the first main questline of saving Nick Valentine. While we are in Diamond City, we also make sure to go kill a random bartender, read a note he had in his pocket and go steal all the chems he had coming. I kill all of you. Wow, what a good Molotov. Loot all the camps, of course. This is gonna carry me through the rest of the game. I made it easy for myself, thank you. There's one more behind there. <laughs> I cripple my own arm, oh no. 
There we go. How is he not dead? There's so many of them out there. Please die. Okay, board. No way! What we need is clearly an epic killing music montage. My bad, that was the wrong song. Much, much better. How did that not kill me? Wow, that's lucky. I'm on a roll. Is he coming up? Then I better come down to you, boy. Take this. Do it, sir. Three hits, okay. Oh, this gun sucks. Where are you, bro? I see you. That's the best shot I ever landed in this game. Easy kid. They all have so much help. What if I just sneak out of here? Don't want to be a part of this conversation. Oh, they hate me now. Alright. Please. Oh. Darla just doesn't care. He rushes in. Make a move. You can see them. Skin him alone. Hiding all the way in the back. That's an easy kill. Pop a jet, maybe. This weapon is so bad. Poke your head out. Oh my god. There we go. Yes, finally. They're all dead. They're all dead and buried. How do you think about that, Nick? Yeah. Yeah, I fucking thought so. Be a little bit more grateful next time. Son of a bitch. Why can't I shoot? I can't shoot! I can't fire! I thought my game glitched there for a second. Yeah, here's Nick. We're all back. Happy family. With Nick Valentine safe and sound back in Diamond City, it's time we hear what he has to say about who might have kidnapped our son. This leads us into go checking out Kellogg's house, but in order to get in, we need the key from the mayor's office. I was very surprised to pass the secretary's speech check with my one single point in charisma. Oh, I actually hit the speech check. Right. That's unbelievable. What happens now? He just puts the key there. What was that? What was that? Albino rad tag. Come here, boy. You're mine. Whoa. I didn't think an albino red stack could one-shot me like that. That's kind of crazy. Not again. I'm not leaving until this animal dies. Spent all my molotovs now. Oh, look at that damage! That's in one hit. That was full health. That item sucks. Get the scent, boy. What do you smell? You smell some ghouls? Let's beat them up. All of them. Kill them all. We can rip them to pieces. Ooh. 
Straight in the head. Straight in the head. No, not this weapon. Holy shit, this weapon sucks. What a shot. Oh, what a shot. Wow. I'm gonna beat you to fucking pieces. <laughs> With the Tommy Wacker. I made a helicopter. Ooh. Another great shot. Let's pop some jet here. Secure the situation. Oh, this game is so easy. Oh, this game is so easy when you roll good weapons. You just pop some more jet and have fun. Oh, that's a lot of damage. I will edit this so it seems seamless. I just got here to Kellogg without dying a single time. Meanwhile, in reality, I died about, I don't know, 15 times. Just from the bridge up to a couple of houses, fighting all those ghouls. That time I got my head bit off, sitting on the railings. Oh, it's been rough getting here. Now Kellogg's son of a bitch, it's your turn. That's the sphere. You might have actually been a good man. Sit down, Kellogg. Sit the f down. Finally. After defeating Kellogg, the game unveils the Brotherhood of Steel as a pivotal faction in our search for Sean. With some Syntech salvage from Kellogg's remains, Nick Valentine tells us the journey to the memory den for updates on how to get along with the story. With Dr. Amari's help, we uncover that the only way to reach the Institute is by teleportation. So then we must travel to the Glowing Sea to find Virgil, a rogue Institute scientist. Just a small side note here, after exiting Good Neighbor, heading for the Glowing Sea, I accidentally covered an insane distance and I somehow didn't die in the process. I landed next to some enemies and a quick fight assumed. Cover sliding is the term for a fancy trick speedrunners of this game use when they basically teleport from one end of the map over to a different part. I linked a video of Tomato Angus explaining it in a bit more detail. Anyways back to the video. Every time I get the fat man I just ruin things for myself. Do you know what I mean? It's like I just have to shoot and multi-kill five ghouls at the same time. But somehow there's always one fucker still alive. How is this guy still alive? And I'm fucking dead. I'm trying to punch it with my weapon. Punch, come on! I'm going out on my terms only. How did that kill me? What? I snuck all the way here with this weapon just to kill one specific death claw. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Die, motherfucker. Here's Virgil. He says go to CIT ruins and track down a courser or something to retrieve another chip. Sure, let's just trust this random beauty in the middle of nowhere. Just look at how bullshit this is. The sin spots me, he's gonna chase me down. I plant mines by the door, and somehow I trigger them? I guess I'm just salty because I didn't save in this tower, and I have to re-clear it all now. Anyways, I made my way to the top again. What? Really? No way he killed me in one second. This time I'll pop so many jets, I'll get an addiction problem right here, right now. Die! Fuck you, son of a bitch. The captive deserves to die too. We have the courser ship. The main quest says to go decipher it and learn how to build a teleporter to reach the institute. You can do this with either the Minutemen, the Railroad, or Brotherhood of Steel. I'm now visiting the Railroad. Honestly, they're just a bunch of goddamn losers. Die all of you. Okay, apparently you can just kill them when you get stunlocked greeting them. So that's how you do it. Hadn't done a Brotherhood of Steel ending in a while and they send you off to this goose chase where one of the initiates working in their inventory storage has been stealing supplies and feeding it to the ghouls. This sick fuck has punishment waiting for him. I'll blow you to pieces. All these ghouls die with you.
The only good thing about the Brotherhood is that you can call the taxi from wherever you like. It's like fast travel without the fast part. So just travel. I'm sorry, that's the worst joke I've pulled so far. I built the teleporter. I already said I'm siding with the Brotherhood. Father, therefore, has to die. And now we get the fuck out of here. Yes, I like cosplaying. I'll cosplay children of the Atom. Taste Atom's power? I'm getting constantly cucked by all these side quests they send you off to. You know, the Brotherhood of Steel is really trying to test your morality in this game. Oh, you wouldn't kill a man feeding some ghouls, would you? Oh, you surely wouldn't kill Paladin Dance that's been promoting you after every mission ever since you first met him, huh? Die, you robotic freak! Yay, mass fusion. Everybody's favorite quests. Every Brotherhood of Steel mission is kill the kill, loot the loot, thank you, next. No, I just rolled into the commie whacker again. What is the chance of that happening? Aren't there like a shit ton of Osaltrons waiting behind the door here? All out for weapon randomizer. It should have been called, which melee weapon do you want to get fucked by next? It's blocking every attack. Stop, you're not funny. I wanna shoot her in the head. Just allow me, once. Alright, I got hardcore sidetracked here. I found a sleeping bag next to a super mutant base. There's a dead Brotherhood of Steel soldier in one of the towers that you can loot and present back to the Brotherhood. For probably a reward of 50 caps. And I spent hours, and that's not a joke, yes. Hours trying to clear this place. It drove me a little bit insane. Anyways, here's an edited montage of me cry laughing my way through it while perma dying. Oh yeah, you wanna fight me? You wanna fucking fight me? <laughs> oh yeah, come here, all of you. <laughs> what is happening? Oh, he's gonna fire, isn't he? Oh. I missed! No way, I missed the shot! No way! I'm so dead now. No! <laughs> I do no damage! 2000 years later. Ooh, he snuck up on me. I didn't hear that guy. Oh, they're all coming now. I've been camping here for a while. Alright, I'm not dying here. No! <laughs> Just need to roll the perfect weapons. There's still no way. This won't work. This just won't work. And I'm dead now. I somehow survived that? <laughs> what did I expect? My bullets might as well be healing them. I can't tell. Okay, we're doing something now. I know I said no power armor at the start of this video, but uh, screw it. I'm breaking my own rules. I gave up. Oh, here he is. Not even the carrion eaters are interested in your irradiated corpse. Son of a bitch. Liberty Prime! Yes! Is it just me, or is the Liberty Prime in Fallout 3 a way better thing? Like the whole follow the robot into the city, the monsters you fought. In this game, it's all just feels so out of place for some reason. I'll just never forget sitting there on my shitty little laptop that would overheat and turn off unless I put huge Lego bricks underneath it. I swear to god, that's not an over-exaggeration. Why does she look so worried? She looks like she hasn't done her taxes. Or is late for picking up her kid at the kindergarten. 
Not the stupid commie whacker again. This is your fault, Maxon. Why does this shitty little robot freak insist on coming with me? It's just what I said earlier. The Brotherhood quest just try and test your morality the whole way through. Is the kid still here if you side with the Minutemen? No, you're not coming with me. Stop bothering me. And there it is. I beat Fallout 4 on survival difficulty with a weapon randomizer mod, without using vats and almost without using power armor. This challenge was a lot of fun to do. Probably some of the best fun I've ever had playing this game. Comment down below what challenge you want to see me do next and in what game. I can play any Fallout game. Fallout 1, 2, 3, New Vegas, Fallout 4. I could also do Skyrim. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel to stay up to date as I push more content. Follow me on Twitch TV slash to catch it all live. Thank you.